Hey guys, this is Joseph from Play Tennis and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about why you should attack your opponent's forehand. So this might go against common belief because when I was growing up playing tennis as a junior, it was the common thought that we should play to the opponent's weaker side in a match, which often was their backhand. However, over the years when I got back into competing and playing in tournaments, I found, interestingly enough, among the majority of the players I played, that the forehand created the most unforced errors throughout the match, both on my opponent's side and on my side. So forehands usually tend to be the weapon of a strong player. It's the attacking shot in comparison to the backhand, which is the more steady and consistent shot. However, I find because of the complex nature of the forehand in terms of its technique, there's more things that can go wrong mechanically when executing a forehand ground stroke in comparison to a very steady and simple backhand technique. So in this video, I want to share with you a handful of key points that we can put into our game in order to attack our opponent's forehand effectively and hopefully win more matches. Key point number one for attacking your opponent's forehand is using your serve. So I myself know that I have a pretty good serve. It's one of my strongest shots in the game when it's working well. And when I was playing in matches, I often found that these well-rounded players that I was playing against made more errors on their forehand return side in comparison to their backhand return side. This doesn't mean that they had weak forehands because often in the ground stroke rallies, their forehand was their weapon. If I gave them any weak ball, they could just kill it off with the forehand winner or approach shot. However, when it came to returning a fast serve of mine, they didn't have much problem returning on the backhand side. Often they were two-handed backhand players so they have two hands on the racket, giving them more stability to deflect the pace of my serve if they got into position. However, on the forehand side, with one hand on the racket, they had less stability on their return and therefore were more prone to making mistakes, especially if I put a good serve in. So that's something important to take note of, is attacking the opponent's forehand using effective serving when it comes to the placement and the power that you put into your serve. Key point number two for attacking your opponent's forehand is analyzing their forehand style. And when I say this, I'm talking about what grip do they use when they hit their forehand. As we already know, there's three main grips that are used for all different players when they're executing their forehands. There's the Eastern, Semi-Western, and Western. If you want more in-depth knowledge on these types of grips and how to hold the racket, check out our grips video, Play Tennis YouTube. So once you're knowledgeable about that, again, you need to keep watch of their technique on their forehand side, see how they're holding the racket. And I find when I come across a player that I'm playing against that is using a full Western grip, which is similar to what I use, I know that by giving them low balls, it's gonna be tougher for them to deal with low balls in comparison to the high balls because again they're holding the racket of that full western like a frying pan and often players with this type of grip struggle with the low balls more than the other types of players so again taking note and analyzing your opponent's forehand technique gonna help you expose their weak points and attack their forehand side effectively and now we get on to key point number three, which latches on to the previous key point is if your opponent has an Eastern grip, then you might want to try giving them some high heavy top spin balls. So again, it really comes down from my own experience and also analyzing other matches that I've seen from professional to recreational level. If you come across a player with an Eastern grip, they will often struggle with the higher, heavier balls. Eastern grip forehand players usually okay with low balls and medium height balls 
But once you start getting the ball above their shoulder level, it requires quite a tremendous amount of forehand strength for them to generate power and spin off their forehand side if they have an eastern grip. So again, quick recap, you're playing against a player with a full western grip, keep the ball low, see how that goes. And if you're playing against a player with a full eastern grip, try and give them high heavy top spin shots to their forehand side and see how that works out. Key point number four is mixing it up. So we want to make sure that we don't fall into the trap of just giving them the same type of ball when playing it to the forehand because this is going to allow them to get into a rhythm and then therefore start attacking you in the rally. If we mix it up with some low balls, with a combination of high heavy topspin balls and flat balls with more pace, we're going to keep them guessing, mixing it up with the pace and the spin. Okay, And often again, as we already discussed, the forehand side is more prone to mechanical breakdown in comparison to the backhand side. So by mixing it up, we're taking away that rhythm from the opponent and also forcing them to make adjustments every shot. Key point number five and the final key point for attacking your opponent's forehand is getting them off balance. So again, we've already said that with most players, their forehand is often their stronger ground stroke. It's more powerful, it's their weapon when they're in position. However, if we move them around and get them off balance, then we can really start to expose the weak points within their forehand, whether it be a slight mechanical error or they're just not very sharp on their footwork. And by getting them off balance, we're going to be able to break down their forehand more effectively and win more points. To conclude today's video, I'm just going to run through the five key points for attacking your opponent's forehand effectively. Key point number one is to attack your opponent's forehand return with a strong serve. Key point number two is to give low balls to players with western grips. Key point number three is to give high heavy topspin balls to players with an eastern grip. Key point number four is to mix it up, add variety to your game with different spins and paces to keep your opponent guessing. And key point number five is to get your opponent off balance. I hope you found the tips useful. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Stay safe.